everyone and welcome back to my vlog. This is a short video uh, showing you some lino printing on fabric. Uh, this is something I did roughly a month ago now and uh, I thought I'd show you the process. So I have these calico bags, I'd had them for a while so they needed a really good iron. Um, and for this project I'm going to be using some block ink, it's lino block ink, um, but it's actually already pre-prepared for fabric so I didn't need to add anything uh, to it and um, once I'm done printing it just simply has to be heat set with the iron again and then it's um, all nicely printed permanently on the calico bags. So I'm rolling out the ink here making sure I get a really good even coverage and now I'm rolling it onto my favorite plate. This plate I cut from Lino around about six or seven years ago. It's all different types of um, dahlias and I just mass them together. And it's definitely um, one of my, well, I think the favorite block that I've, I've ever carved. It's just beautiful. It always prints perfectly. Um, when you first roll out ink onto the block, um, particularly with Lino block, it's like, you know, it's like the first pancake that you cook. It's never going to be perfect. It takes a while to get really good coverage to start with. So just keep at it. Um, and remember the first one's probably not going to be perfect. So yeah, I, I then matted it out with paper you saw there to make a nice round shape. And now I've laid the calico bag on top and I'm using the back of a spoon to rub in circles to sort of create the print. Um, I did discover that it was easier to start with um, rolling it out with a roller instead. So I had a clean roller here, so I've actually started with a roller. That was far, far easier. And then I could just go back and fix any spots that didn't quite print as dark as I would like. I was able to just fix them with the back of the spoon later. Um, so yeah, that was far easier. I recommend doing that. So have two rollers um, is my recommendation. One for the ink, uh, for applying the ink, and another one that you can keep nice and clean um, in order to use uh, for printing. So um, yeah, so this was, it was, look, it was fairly laborious. Um, you know, each bag took a while just to make sure I had a print that I was happy with. But in the end, the result was beautiful and that vibrant blue just looks fantastic. It was literally just the ink I happened to have. Um, I think I have that or black and I thought, no, let's go with blue. So yeah, this is how they turned out. I'm really happy with how they looked and the masking with the paper worked really well. Um, I printed, I think about somewhere around eight or 10 of these. Uh, each time I just changed the paper because I needed to be able to ink that block up again. So I had a bunch of those papers pre-cut. Um, each bag printed slightly differently, of course, being it's hand printed, some of them, you know, are darker, some of them are lighter, but I was really, really happy with the result and I hope you love them too. These will be available in my shop soon. Um, yeah, and if you like my vlog, please like and subscribe. That would really help me out. Thank you so much, guys.